Welcome back guys, a playable demo of Hell is Us is now available on Steam Store. In this video, I'll be testing it on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. It's an action adventure game which is set to be released for Windows platform on 4th September 2025. In this game, we play as a soldier named Remy who fights against supernatural beings called Hollow Walkers. The levels are set in a semi-open world environment in the demo. Our character is tasked with finding clues about his parents. Our progress in the demo won't get carried over to the full game. Unlike most of the modern day games, this game does not feature waypoints, quest logs and map markers. The key to finding our objective is to listen to Remy's conversation with other non-playable characters. Now the game officially supports DLSS 4, FSR 3.1 and XCSS 2. Unfortunately, FSR Upscaler is not decoupled from FSR Frame Generation. We cannot combine DLSS Upscaler with Frame Gen. This is why I'll be using Nukem 9's mod to replace the in-game DLSS Frame Generation implementation with FSR Frame Generation. I'll be injecting this mod into the game via OptiScaler mod. The game uses an older version of DLSS 4 Upscaler. It's version 310.1.0.0. I'll be manually updating it to the latest version. Newcom 9's mod also enables NVIDIA Reflex which helps in cutting down the latency. I have already done my testing. This game uses Unreal Engine 5 but does not exhibit any excessive stuttering. Just a few hiccups whenever we enter a new area but the performance stabilizes soon. The game's performance does not scale properly with its settings. My GPU was struggling to maintain a steady 60fps even on the low settings. Very disappointing stuff. First, I'll be testing the game without any mods installed, show you the base game performance. Before that, I'll enable DLSS debug overlay. We just need to set the model preset to J or K in order to activate the transformer model of DLSS 4. I'll be verifying these details using DLSS debug overlay. In order to activate this overlay, just execute this registry code provided by Amos, copy the lines. Create a new text file anyway on your PC, name it anything you want, I'll just name it as overlay. Change its extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file, right click, open with, click on notepad and paste the lines here. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. This will enable the DLSS debug overlay. If you want to disable it, just replace the number 4 here with 0 like this. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. I'll revert the change as I want to enable the DLSS debug overlay. Right click, open, click on yes, ok, that's it, we are ready to run the game. Video settings, screen mode set to full screen, full HD resolution. First I'll run the game on low settings, everything set to low. Vsync off, I've enabled Vsync from NVIDIA control panel, NVIDIA reflex on. DLSS upscaler enabled using its quality preset. That's it. We are in my current location, Sanitra Forest. Thick foliage around me, perfect for testing the game. And just look at that FPS value, close to 55, not even hitting 60 FPS. This is so disappointing. Playing the game using mouse and keyboard, I am observing some latency while moving the camera around. Seen this happening in some recently launched Unreal Engine 5 based games. Hitting the GPU bottleneck. Game isn't stuttering though. Check out the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner. Render preset used is E. This means it's the CNN model of DLSS. Version is 310.1.0. Base resolution 720p upscale to full HD resolution. DLSS auto exposure setting is on. This setting helps in reducing ghosting around the objects in the environment. Fixes texture shimmering issue produced by shiny objects. Okay, now I'll show you some combat. Take out this humanoid using a sword. Can block the attacks by pressing the Alt key. It's done. Sprint. Okay, so now I'll run the game using the medium preset. I have set everything to medium except for post processing setting. It's set to low. Load the same sequence. Yeah, now we are getting close to 50 FPS. Not a big drop in performance. 50 to 52 FPS. On low settings, here we were getting around 50 to 55 FPS. Graphics are looking much better than before, especially the surface textures. 
Engage in combat. FK should still stay close to 50. I can use my AI control drone to distract the enemy. Very useful when fighting against multiple enemies. Yeah, roughly the same performance. Okay, now I'll run the game using the high preset. Everything set to high except for post processing setting. It's set to low. I'll restart the checkpoint. We are in. FPS is within a range of 46 to 49. On medium settings, here we were getting close to 50 FPS. Latency increase for RTX 2070 Super. I would recommend using the medium settings. Then I'll be enabling FSR frame generation. Show you some combat. 42 FPS. Iran using is close to 6.3 GB. Staggered the enemy. Now I'll be installing Nukem 9 Spot. I'll be using build 0.130 universal version of Nukem 9 mod. The mod can be downloaded for free from Nexus Mods website. Just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on manual download under universal. Click on slow download. The download will start. We'll be using the Daria build of OptiScaler mod version 0.7.7 preview 9 can be downloaded from OptiScaler's GitHub. I'll give its link in the description. Just expand the asset section. Click on the dot 7 z link here. We'll be downloading the latest version of TLSS Subscaler from Tech Power of website. At the time of recording this video, it's version 310.2.1. Click on download here. Then click on any of these servers, the download will start. First, I'll be installing OptiScaler mod. Just open the mod's archive file. Copy the highlighted files, two of them. Open the game's install directory. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. Open Helsas folder. Open binaries folder, open win64 folder, paste the mod files here. Change the name of optiscaler.dll file to txgi.dll. Open optiscaler.ini file, just set tx12 upscaler to dlss. Set fg type to newcoms as we will be using newcom 9 mod. Won't be using optiscaler fsr frame generation, click on file here, click on save. Close. Now I'll install Nukem 9 Smart. Open the mods archive file. Open dll underscore version folder. Copy this dll file. dlss g 2 fsr 3 AMD is better. Need to paste it in the same directory where we install OptiScaler mod. Helsas folder, binaries folder, Win64 folder right here. Process complete. Now I'll manually update dlss subscaler. Open the upscaler's archive file, copy this dll file nvngx underscore dlss, open the game's install directory, open helsas folder, open plugins folder, open dlss folder, binaries folder, third party folder, win64 folder, replace the older version of the upscaler with the latest version, paste, replace, check the version 310.2.1. I need to make sure that hardware related GPU shared link setting is enabled on your PC. Right click anywhere on the desktop, click on display settings, click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings. From here enable hardware related GPU shared link setting. If your monitor supports variable refresh rate, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3D settings, click on program settings, click on add here. From the list select hell is us. Scroll down to the end, enable vSync from here, apply the changes. My monitor is G-Sync compatible, I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on setup G-Sync here and enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible, enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator. This step is optional, click on display here and check this setting. G-Sync compatible indicator, we are ready to run the game. In game settings. Full HD resolution, everything set to medium except for post processing setting, it's set to low. Basing off, reflex on. Make sure DLSS upscaler is enabled. DLSS frame generation setting, set it to on. Okay, need to restart the game in order to apply the change. Exit game. The game restarted, but mod frame generation will still not work. What you need to do is just set DLSS frame generation to auto, then set it back to on. Yeah, frame pacing graph change. This means 
frame generation is working you also need to set dlss upscaler to any other value than the current selected value for example in my case it's quality i'll just change it to balance change it back to quality everything should work properly now jump into the game we are in open optiscaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key from this drop down bar make sure dlss upscaler is selected auto exposure setting is on can be verified by dlss debug overlay render preset used is k version of the upscaler 310.2.1 show you the debug view displays are working properly for all of the images no hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image except for the dlss debug overlay as it's not a part of the game's interface the game's interface should not flicker with optiscale fsr frame generation i beg your pardon with newcom 9's fsr frame generation enabled the color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images fsr smoothing effect should work properly i'll disable the debug overview click on save and I close let's check out the fps stability it's with a range of 80 to 90 okay i'm observing some grainy textures around the character model when i move the camera slowly like this see there is some ghosting i'll just undock my drone it's very handy can distract enemies for us even decipher unknown language there's the humanoid it's a linked enemy i need to take out the haze first blocked its stack try to parry it there you go press the alt key right before the haze's attack landed now i can deal some damage to the humanoid parry its attack as well it's disappointing to see that the game did not even achieve 60 fps on rtx 2070 super gpu even when it was running on low settings I didn't observe a big difference in terms of performance after going from low to medium settings. Latency was higher than usual. Even when the game was running without frame generation, not sure why. And for some reason, the developers used the CNN model of DLSS upscaler even when the game is shipped with the version of the upscaler which corresponds to DLSS 4. After verifying the upscaler's details, just disable the DLSS debug overlay via the registry file that we created earlier. FSR 3.1 upscaler is not decoupled from FSR frame gen but you can use Nukem 9's mod to combine DLSS upscaler with frame gen and it works very nicely. That's it for the video guys I hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day.